You. Hello. It's all you. Oh, sorry. Hello. So today I will make a <laughs> another video. I don't know what, but I'm just going to make another video. And yeah. Hello. It's Monday, which means it's video day. I missed last week, and it was a good reason. We had the One Woman Show in Denver. Woohoo! And that was really fun, but it was also, we had to travel to Denver. And actually, I had just come back from Utah, so I came back from Utah on Monday morning, and then on Tuesday, we flew to Denver. So, it's getting hot in here. Don't take off all your clothes. It's getting kind of hectic. So we are traveling a lot. We're getting ready to travel again on Sunday. So what had happened was in the Denver show, there were some things that came up as themes like of my life that I realized apply to what's going on here. First of all, I have to admit, I lost my journal in a hotel, the hotel in Utah. So I had to wait a couple days for them to send it back to me. And so I missed a couple days of journaling, which kind of threw me off my game. Today, when I was journaling, I realized that there have been a few times in my life where I have not believed in myself. There have been a few times in my life where things have been so dark and so low that I just didn't know if I could do it. Like, you know, and I talk about it in the one woman show, like, this time where I had gone out on my own to have the consulting company and I had this first year where it was really, really good and then it got really, really bad. And fortunately, my husband believed in me and I didn't. And his belief in me was enough to hold me up until I could believe in myself again. And my family has done that for me too, over and over again. And I've had the opportunity to do it for other people. In fact, that's a big part of what MomStar is. You know, we believe in your dreams until they take their own wings and you see the evidence of them coming to life and you believe in them yourself. This weekend I had the opportunity to see the dream of one of our team members brought to life on the big screen, which was like, it brought me to tears. I was so incredibly happy for her. And this, she's a movie maker. I mean, she really is. She's a force to be reckoned with. She's, she's did this movie, Deanie Bean is dead, but you have the opportunity to see it. You need to see it because I'm not just saying this because I love her. It's as good as any movie that's out there right now. And she did it with a really, really small cast and almost no budget. Here I am. So just goes to show you that dreams come true. They really do. My one woman show is an example of that too. It's a dream that I had that I believed in that is now a reality. I'm doing it. I'm not just talking about doing it. I'm doing it with a very little budget, no backing, no real significant theatrical experience except for that of my team, like Allison. So I was journaling this morning and I was thinking about that whole th thing of believing in yourself and having other people who believe in you even when you don't totally believe. And I was also thinking about the theme in my life of being trapped. Like there have been times in my life where I have felt like a caged animal. There was certainly the time where I was in the relationship that had me living out of my car. This is all in the show, by the way. If you get an opportunity to come, it's on July 13th is the last show for a while in Philadelphia. So there was then, and really drug addiction in general is a feel is like leaves you feeling really trapped and like kind of confined and held hostage. And then of course there was when I was in a mental hospital, when I was in my late twenties or my mid twenties. And, and then there was when I was working as a corporate drone, like as a corporate hack for a company, I felt really, really trapped and like I didn't know how to get out. I wrote my way out of that situation, and I think I sort of sung my way out of the first two situations. Um, and so that's, I realized this morning, that's how I feel in this body, in this big, bulky, unfamiliar, like, who is this body? I mean, I gotta tell you guys, all the way through, up until I was 40 and had my son, I, you know, I mean, I went up and down and stuff, but I pretty much like was pretty fit, ran a lot, worked out, lifted weights. This was never my thing. This, 
breathless as I, you know, finish climbing a flight of stairs. It, it, and so it, it feels very unfamiliar and like, a, like I'm wearing a fat suit and I feel trapped in this fat suit. And it's time to bust out, just like I busted out of corporate America, just like I busted out of mental, okay, I didn't bust out of the mental hospitals. They did let me out. There's no, no cops gonna come flying down the street when this video airs. Just like I busted out of, you know, being trapped in my own mind, and just like I busted out of being trapped in addiction, you know, combination of faith and song and writing and other people believing in me is what worked all those times. And damn it, it's going to have to work this time too, because just my will alone, it hasn't worked. Eight years and it hasn't worked. Even just the writing alone doesn't seem to have worked yet. It's a consistent practice. It's a consistent practice that allows me to see the beliefs that I'm holding about myself that I need to let go of if I'm going to manifest what I want. But I also have other people who believe in me. My kids, they believe in me unendingly, unfailingly. And they see me differently than I see myself. And my husband, again, believes in me. He believes that I can do this. He knows I can do it once I decide to do it. So we's about to bust out again, y'all. He's about to do it. I'm going to keep teaching. I'm going to keep teaching all of these tools and gifts that I've been given, all the resources that I've learned along the way, because this is just another chapter that I'm writing. I did manifest the dream of putting on a one woman show. I did manifest the dream of building a successful business. I did manifest my dream of having four beautiful children and an amazing husband who loves and supports me. Those are all dreams that I have had at different times in my life that I'm now living. I'm living those dreams, living them day after day. This is just another dream that's about to become real. Stay tuned. Glad to have you on this journey with me. Super excited to share with you how I did it once I done did it. And yeah, keep coming back. Right now, I'm going to have a new channel called Little Gamers. So I'm going to keep my channel met. Max's DIY ideas, and then I'm going to make a new one called Little Gamers. I'm sick right now, so I might cough and laugh, so that's... Laughing? Clapping. Clapping. So I might clap a lot, so, um, yeah. You done? You done with this video? And just to mention, I have a new. Well, you should stand up so we can see the shirt. And I have a new. I have a new shirt. I have a new. I have a new. Hairstyle. No, um, I forget what it's called. Type of laundry detergent? <laughs> a new, uh, I have a new website. <laughs> but we didn't uh, get that website. We don't even know if that domain name is available. If it's not, we will call it littlegamer.com. We'll try. And we'll try to make a website, but if we can't. Right. You can't get the shirts. Maybe we'll sell them on the MomStar website if we have to. Have to. <coughs> like to okay. Do that. Okay. 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 We'll do that. We'll sell them at www.momstar.me. I will try to make everything super duper fun. And like this video in three, two, one, and subscribe. Slap that bell. Comment down below what you want us to do next. <laughs> <laughs>